Why not? We're not engaging the public in any type of enforcement action. Oh shit, you signed by the book. You do no, don't no, no, say that. You you you, you, you set yourself up. How y'all doing? Good man, we're chilling. All right, I know y'all chilling. That's why I came over here to chill with y'all. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can. All right. Yeah, do your thing. Oh, I plan on it. Good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Body cameras. They protecting brick and mortar, not the people. You feel me? That's brick and mortar that they protecting, not the people. What's up, baby? You know what's up? Hey, Gene in there? <laughs> I said Gene in there. <laughs> yeah, we we out here doing what we do, huh? And you know how I am. Put the cables on them. See up underneath the tree. <laughs> we up here at City Hall. At the Palestinian rally. Suck. We have completed this march, yes. But we are far, far from done. We are going to stay in the streets because as long as this genocide is being waged, we cannot rest. As long as our government is sponsoring the Israeli oppressor, we will not rest. We will stay in the streets until Israeli apartheid is ended. We will continue to spread our message of truth as long as the government and the world media is complicit in the crimes. We are all out for Palestine until they are free. and what it means to Palestinian people in the U.S. He is from the Palestinian Youth Movement. Give it up for Sammy. You, you know how that shit work, right, Sandy? That's right, Sandy. Uh, can everybody see me? Can everybody hear me? I'm with the Palestinian youth, and I've been the guy running around in the crowd asking if you're Palestinian, giving you flyers and stuff if you're Palestinian. Yeah. And that's because I'm a part of the Palestinian youth movement. We are a transnational, grassroots, independent organization of Palestinian Arab youth fighting for the liberation of our people and homeland. I come, to here, I come here to speak to you all tonight not to deliver a message of hope, because hope is already here. Nor do I come here to encourage you to join the fight for the liberation of Palestine. Because by being here tonight, we've already joined the fight. Woo! Instead, I come here to deliver a message about two key points that we need, especially in Baltimore City and the surrounding counties, to continue the fight for the liberation, the full liberation from the river to the sea of Palestine. Woo! And those two things our organization and unity. When there is a national call for a march in D.C., we must organize our people and unite to help bring them to D.C. On the 4th, I want to make an announcement, there will be a national march and all organizations and peoples across the country will be uniting in D.C., 100,000 people. Let's do what we can to make it a million people. And we're all from Baltimore. We know what a pain in the ass it is to get to D.C. So I want to tell you all, 
the good news, which is we don't always have to go to D.C. We have all we need to organize here. We don't have to go to every protest. I want to tell you, in the past two weeks, I have seen an unprecedented convergence of mosques, churches, student groups, socialist parties, um, Palestinians and Arabs, and so, so much more uniting and organizing around the full liberation of Palestine. And that's important. It's very important. Don't underestimate your power because this march, like all the marches happening around the world, and especially the steadfastness and resilience of our people from Gaza to, uh, to the West Bank, to 48, to the refugee camps, even here at Exile in the West, is the sole reason, don't forget, is the sole reason why the Zionist entity cannot carry out the genocide of the Palestinians in Gaza, and so on. And so I stand here today as a member of the Palestinian Youth Movement to tell you that I will stay here as long as it takes to meet all of the student groups, mosques, churches, black and Filipino liberation movements, socialist parties, you name it, to connect and build with you all, Palestinians and Arabs especially, to unite and form a community here. I will be here as long as it takes to deliver that message, connect with you all, and make sure you have the information for November 4th. And I tell you all that because I tell you everybody, liberation is on the horizon. Our martyrs who have paid the ultimate price, who have given the ultimate sacrifice, soon and now, their sacrifice will not be in vain. Our prisoners who are locked up in Zionist prisons will soon be released. Our refugees who are waiting generation after generation to return to our homeland will soon return. Our land will soon be liberated. And most of all our people, after 200 years of imperialist and Zionist colonization, and 75 years of settler colonialism, of Nekebe, of occupation, will finally and soon be free. I know right now we're rain soaked, we're cold, but right now I feel warm and fuzzy and good. The resistance and fortitude of the Palestinian people, along with the solidarity of people around the world, continue to block me out. No, but you don't You're going to leave it on this note. Stop spending our money on wars. You got money for war, but not the poor. Yeah, that's Palestine. And this is your police in America. This ain't my fight, this is our struggle. We share that struggle with Palestine. You're killing black people the same way that you're killing Palestinians. The militarization of your police department, policing in our black communities, ain't no different than Palestine. Baltimore is just like the Gaza Strip. So President Biden, what you gonna do about us? 